How far have black women come? Everywhere. Everywhere. Even the black man. Everywhere. 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 There was a time, there was a time when I'd come in to buy a magazine and I would only see white girls on the front cover. No joke, the only time I would see black girls on the cover was Essence and Pride. We're everywhere, baby. We're everywhere. <laughs> This girl in this video that I've added here puts uh, a point across that, oh, look how far black women have come. We're on every magazine. And she thinks that's because of their achievements. It's not. It's because there's an insidious agenda here at play to just promote Africans in our countries above our people to demoralize us and to put them on some sort of a pedestal. I'm sure you will have noticed because even normie people who haven't got a political bone in their body have been saying to me lately, what the hell is going on with the adverts? Every advertising medium that you look at is just full of black families or it's a white woman with a black man. It's everywhere you look now. You, you can't not see it. And once you realise it, you can't not, you know, then you can't ever get it out of your head. You just, you'll be looking for it on adverts then. It is everywhere you look in your face. The side of the buses, the bus shelter ads, supermarkets, billboards, every political ad. It doesn't matter what town you live in, uh, whether there are no black people living there or thousands you'll see the same advertising. It is literally everywhere you look, because I drive around this country a lot, and I see it everywhere now. If I look at an advert and I see a white couple on there, I nearly fall off my chair. I saw a news article the other day saying that Nigeria had banned white people from their advertising. So in Nigeria now, you won't see any whites in the adverts. I think this country has banned white people from the adverts. I think the whole idea of it is just a big program of demoralization and I feel that it's backfiring on them now so don't get downhearted about it. The whole thing is based on a lie. It's a castle built on sand and at the end of the day the truth will come out.